Hello guys, in this video I will show you some tips that will make your code better and shorter. Let's start. Here I am querying using where in posts ID or primary key in 5 or 6 or 7 and I am selecting only ID and the title column. Here is our table, right? ID starts from 5 until 9, right? Back to our browser, see results and it returns the existing column as you can see here and there is only ID and title. The first shortcut here you can get rid of select and you can put this parameter inside get because get accepts the column you want to get. Let's remove select, refresh and the same result. Also if you use wherein with ID you can make it shorter right using this code. Posts equal to post find and also post or find the method accepts array of IDs so let me copy it here and we can also select the column we want to get ID and title back again refresh and the same result you can use find or fail it will fail if one of these IDs doesn't exist now all of them exists but if I provide non-exist ID 77 for example it will return 404 error the second tip most of us may know it is using root binding parameter so imagine I will pass ID here and in my web root I will add this ID here also and I want to get a post using find or fail here post find or fail and I will use this ID right back again refresh and if I provide ID number 5 it will return it and instead of that you can use query binding roots pass the model class here and variable post and add it also to root right and instead of that you can return post directly right only <laughs> one word super refresh and the same result another step here is you can validate the query parameter for example imagine i will pass user id right equal to two for example let me change it quickly and i want to return posts for this user right i will add request here request and request right and return post where user ID equal to request user ID right get refresh and it returns all posts related to this user ID number two but what if I passed invalid value like that you can validate it using validation here validate and our rules will be here user ID is required and also enter and it must exist in users table in column ID right this also instead of using find or fill again inside your controller let's try it in our postman here send it yeah it exists not exist exists right and if I pass user ID number two it will return results and if I was invalid value it will return user ID must be an integer if I pass non-exist user ID for example 99 like that it returns the selected user ID is invalid another tip also is checking if a model is belongs to a related model or not for example I will return post ID number one post first and I will return the first user also user first and let's die and dump both of them here post I user ID and user ID right back here refresh it returns the 
post user id is 2 and the user id first user id is 1 to check if this post belongs to that user or not you can use post right user from the relationship because if i back to post i have relationship to users and you can use it directly is this user right diane dump here refresh it returns false what if i select user id number two it returns true because this post being with user id number two as you can see here right instead of that instead of using exclamation mark you can use is not if this post not belongs to this user this time it will return false right here to return false last tip here is authenticating user manually using id only so instead of using authentication a template like that you can authenticate users manually using us right login using id and pass the user id and don't forget to create the session for that authentication so you can use request session and regenerate and here return authenticated authenticated refresh and it's authenticated if i die and dump current user here refresh it returns user id number one change it for example to id number two refresh back again and use dd here right set to refresh and the current authenticated user is two here's some quick tips about laravel support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos